Look at that guy. Thinks he's in Miami. Yes, it's true. Fire remediation is happening. And Ecology Now TV is taking you live to Jamaica Bay. These are them. This is Spartina, savior of the mark. He is an animal. He plants. He is the whole the mark together. So I'm here daily calling of Ecology Now TV with the uh, truck driver, James Utrell. Uh, James Utrell of Cape May Plant Materials Center. <laughs> oh, lovely! And you're the you're the greenhouse from whence came the Spartina. We came up in the fall and collected seed from Jamaica Bay, took them back to the USDA Cape May Plant Materials Center, propagated the seed, germinated them, grew them out, and now we're delivering them back to the. We're engineers here in Jamaica Bay. I'm telling you, they're looking great. You know, they'll be taller than we are in a few months. Well, yes, yeah, we hope. We hope so. It's, so. it's taking them five months to grow this big. So. Uh huh. Wow. They're, they're, uh, how many plants are you delivering? Hundred thousand. A hundred thousand. Uh huh. Today, and, about thirty thousand. Yeah. Do, do you use any biodynamic uh, or organic uh, fertilizers or uh, like fish oil? Anything? No. No. We 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 just use. Uh, General type fertilizer. The contractors supply and uh, native terrain people doing the planting here. Okay, well, a hundred thousand, and, and are you bringing more next week? My second load this week. A load came yesterday. We got one more load to go. So probably next week we're going to bring tomorrow, but nobody's going to be here tomorrow. <laughs> oh well, uh, looks like you did a great job. How many people worked to um, make these five hundred plants happen? 500,000 plants happen uh, since you said you started in? In January, we, we started in October collecting the seed. In mm -hmm. January, we, we germinated the seed in the greenhouse. There's four of us at the Cape May Plant Material Center, but that's only one of four centers, four National Re Natural Resources Conservation Service centers providing plants here. The whole the whole contract is called for a million plants. Isn't but it hard. wonderful? Well, it's a lot of work. Oh, okay, great. So, do you want me to introduce you to the show? Okay. Turn around. <laughs> Dana Lee Cohen with Ecology Now TV, here with oh, Gene Van Pelt. Mr. Van Pelt, we're very excited to see you are restoring my Jamaica band. Thank you. Okay. So, what's, what's the strategy? The strategy is uh, we're planting 750,000 Spartina alterniflora plants out on a 37 acre island uh, called Elders Point East and uh, it's hard work that's it's just every day we, we plant about 20,000 a day 20,000 plants a day how long is it going to take you to plant them? Uh, we'll be finished uh, we started last year and we planted approximately uh, 21 acres last year and uh, we will finish up this year in about three weeks uh -huh. three more weeks and do you, do you the spirit of the water is helping you and loving you and appreciating you. Do, do the crabs come up and kiss you and stuff? No, but uh, we have noticed that the wildlife has, has come to the island since it's been planted. There are diamondback terrapins, uh, horseshoe crabs mating on the island every year, uh, Achilles fish, uh, just tons of wildlife now moving in. Uh, when National Park Service did uh, previous studies, they found that Achilles fish weren't using it as a nesting ground. Um, uh, migratory habitat for nursery for the fish, young fish, juvenile fish. Uh, we're actually seeing large uh, striped bass and bluefish chasing fish through the marsh, try, you know, trying to feed off the uh, juvenile fish. So that's a uh, one one point five million dollar contract for our company. And uh, after we finish this, no, this is. Uh, um, Yes. I mean, when you're a gardener, you don't think you're going to make money. See, gardeners, look what can happen. Yes, and after. We're moving along. Ecology TV is in flight. Uh, Water-wise. Uh, Practically. Oh! 
<laughs> the boat's rocking.